Um, hi, I'm Stephen Davidson from the band Tellison. Well, the band has been finishing our third album. Um, so we kind of finished that off right at the end of last year and then we went about the boring process of trying to find a record label and do all the music industry stuff you have to do, uh, which we finished with uh, managing to get Alco Pop, convince them to sign us. So we signed to them uh, fairly recently and then we just put out our first single from a new record, which was called Tact Is Dead. The last month, I think, and uh, now the single called Boy is coming out next month, so we're just sort of starting to gear up again to be a band. What's significant about writing this record? Uh, I guess it's the first time we've really sort of done things really all on our own. Before in the past we've had management and agencies and all sorts of other people kind of getting involved. I mean, primarily because we were kids when we did our first record, when I was like 17 or something. Um, Long time ago, and uh, <laughs> um, I've, uh, but this time around, sort of out of necessity, we didn't have a record label, we didn't have any management, we didn't have any like any outside help really, um, and we approached a few different people, and no one, you know, the music industry is not, no one's really throwing checks around, so <laughs> we kind of had to figure out how to continue to be a band and how to make a record without any help, um, which so that involved finding someone to record us, uh, which ended up being a friend of. Hours. This guy called Andy Jenkin, who just got a studio in Highbury Islington under a famous burger restaurant. This is a little shoebox, and uh, we just slowly started making a record. It took about nearly like a year or something. It was ridiculous. It, started, it took a long time because we were all working full-time jobs and stuff. So we had to do it in the gaps between living normal lives and using the money we made in our normal lives to pay for Telson to kind of exist and be able to continue. Um, so it's been a, it was a hard, it was a tough process, um, but I really like the new record and I think it's sort of the most honest sounding record it, we've made because it actually sounds sort of like what we sound like when we're in a room practicing or whatever. We've never had people, you know, telling us to have another chorus here or, you know, make it catchy or anything like that. It's, those sorts of pressures are things we've put on ourselves in the past. Maybe I feel like with our second record we were trying quite hard to make a record that could be played on the radio or, you know tick certain boxes whereas this time around we felt like we should just do what we wanted to do which is what we did um, so yeah we've never really had that you know no one's really ever meddled in our band you know we're older I think we're better songwriters and stuff so there's been an element of like figuring that stuff out as well and like I said because it was took over it was recorded over such a long period of time it gave us a lot of time to kind of pour over things and try different arrangements and you know do interesting things the way we tour like we were staying at people's houses after shows. Um, there's not really a period where I, the way I write music is on my own in a room with a guitar, uh, generally just playing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again to the point of insanity. So it, there's never really a space to fit that in and on tour. That said, occasionally I'll have an idea and if I've got my laptop with me I can kind of mess around with things, but the major majority of my writing I do separately from touring. It's kind of the two just don't coexist. We're off on tour. We're on tour at the moment. It's just started, so we'll be around, going around the UK for next week, and then the single comes out next month. And there's more shows in June, um, a couple of little stretches, and then over summer we'll be doing festivals. And I think there'll be at least one more single, and then the album probably towards the end of the summer, and then lots of touring after that, I'd imagine, and maybe more singles. Really, it really depends on the record label. Like they're the ones who dictate that stuff. So. But we're planning to just, you know, try and be as active as we can in between, you know, paying our rent and <laughs> going to work.